In this short video, we're going to learn how to express a radical in simplest form. Now remember, a radical term is a term that contains a square root sign. So in this case, root 48 is a radical term. Now it's actually a special kind of radical term as well. It's referred to as an entire radical because the entire term is inside the radical sign. Now when we express this in a simplest form, we're going to be turning it into what's called a mixed radical. And a mixed radical will contain part of the term outside of the radical sign and part of the return or the term inside the radical sign. Okay, well let's go ahead and get started. So how do we do this? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on this 48, which is inside the radical sign. And we're going to look for the factors of 48. Okay, so whatever's in that radical sign, we're going to look for the factors of 48. So um, I know that 1 and 48 are factors, uh, so is 2 and 24. 3, well, yes, 3 and 16. 4, well, 4 goes in there 12 times. 5, no, 6, yes, and 6 and 8, and then we're done. So lots of factors there. Now, the next step is to look at all these factors and go through them and circle the perfect squares. So if I look at this, I can see that 4 is a perfect square and 16 is a perfect square and those are the only perfect squares we see. All right, once you've circled the perfect squares, you want to select or choose the largest perfect square. And that means that we're going to choose this pair of values right here, the 3 and the 16. So we're going to take this root 48 term and we're going to rewrite it as a product of these two values. And we're going to write the perfect square term first. So in this case, 16 times 3. Now, once we've expressed it as a product, you will notice that I can write this 16 times 3 as root 16 multiplied by root 3. And why does that help us out? Well, if we take a look, we notice that since root 16 is the root of a perfect square, I can express that as 4. And the root 3 does not um, convert from a perfect square nicely, uh, so we leave that underneath the radical sign. So there we have it. So this is a mixed radical, this 4 root 3, and you can see that we've been able to express root 48 in a simpler form which is 4 root 3. Okay? All right, well, let's try another one. Let's see if we understand what we're doing here, and we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll try and solve another one. So if we were asked to express 2 root 72 in simplest form, well, we'll notice here that we're starting with a mixed radical. So we're starting with a mixed radical. We are going to finish with a mixed radical as well. But this root 72, hopefully, will be able to... Uh, simplify that down into a smaller value. So we'll go ahead and we'll follow the exact same pattern. We're going to look for the factors of 72, just the value inside the radical sign, and then we're going to look for those perfect squares. So 72, well, 1 and 72, uh, 2 and 36, 3. Well, yeah, 3 goes into there. 3 into 7 is twice, and then 3 into 12 is 14, so 3 times 24 is 72. Uh, does 4 go into that? Yes, it does. 4 times 18 is 72. 5? No. 6? Yes. 6 times 12? 7? No. And 8? Yes. 8 times 9 is 72. So lots of factors for 72. Let's go through this list, and we're going to look for perfect squares. I can see that 4 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square, and 36 is a perfect square. So once we've identified the perfect squares, we choose the largest perfect square, which is in this case 36. So the pair of numbers we're going to use is 2 and 36. I will take the 2 times root 72 and I will rewrite that as 2 times, 
I'm going to write my perfect square first, put that in front, 36 times 2. I'm going to break it apart into two pieces, so 2 times the root of 36 times the root of 2. I'm going to realize that the root of 36 is actually 6, and the root of 2 does not come out of that radical sign because it's not a perfect square. And I finish up with multiplying the 2 non-radical portion at the, uh, at the front here. So 2 times 6 is 12, and we leave the root 2 underneath the radical sign. So 2 root 72 can be simplified, expressed in a simpler form, as the mixed radical 12 root 2.